Hi everyone, my name is Selena and I work on Raw VM at Oracle Labs and I just had my presentation here at Go to Amsterdam where I talked about Java in the cloud and how Graal VM can help you there. And I want to give you a brief summary of that session. So there we talked about what are the goals that you want to accomplish for your Java deployment specifically in the cloud and how Graal VM can help you meet them. And here is how. So one thing you probably want to accomplish in the cloud is to start your applications fast because A, it's better user experience for your users, the ones waiting for your app to become available, but also this means that you can scale more easily and use fewer resources. So with Crawl VM and Native Image specifically, you can make your application start very fast because you are no longer executing and compiling your code at runtime. Instead, you are doing all of this in build time. And then when you actually start your application, it starts very fast because it's all pre-optimized, pre-compiled ahead of time. Now, startup time is important, but what if you have a long grind application? So maybe you care less about startup and you have other considerations. For example, it's resources usage, especially in the cloud, where you pay for using CPU, for using memory, and for how long you are using them. So there, Native Image also offers you some interesting benefits because, again, we are no longer compiling code at runtime as a JVM does. We do all of that at build time. So at runtime, we don't need to have all of this code execution infrastructure anymore. You just have your native executable. It runs as a native app. You don't need to keep around memory for all those code execution, optimization, compilation facilities like when you run on a JVM. So it saves you CPU, it saves you memory. And another benefit that native image can give you in the cloud is that you can have much smaller images. So you can build a fully functional, fully static, fully self-contained native image application that will be really small so that your container images are much smaller, you can scale faster, you can deploy faster. And also if you want to really optimize for this packaging size, so it's really important for you, maybe you're running resources constraint environments, then you can compress it even further with a tool like UPX. So, so far so good, we have fast startup, we have lower resources usage, we have small container images, but what about peak performance? Because specifically for Java, we are used to having this great peak performance that JVM gives us, and we would like to have that available for us in native image as well. And it's not as easy on, on, as on the JVM because the JVM executes code dynamically so it can optimize on the go and we know how it really shines when it comes to peak throughput. So luckily with native image, you can achieve comparable on par performance with the JVM. And that is if you are applying an optimization called profile guide optimizations. And it means that you are collecting profile information for your application, kind of like JVM does, but then you're using this information and you are building your app ahead of time at the compilation step. And this means that native image kind of gets an insight into what happens in the future at runtime. And this way you have the best of both worlds. So you have runtime information available to the native image as it builds your app, along with optimizations that are specific at native image at compile time. So you optimize for the future at build time. And also native image offers some very interesting benefits around security. And I think those are not talked about enough and it's a very interesting how native image reduces security uh, surface, like reduces security attack surface, so improves security of your application. But for that, you would need to listen to the full version of my talk here on GoTo's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy it and thank you for your attention.